Hello and welcome back to another QGIS tutorial. Here I'll be creating Stream Power Index Map or SPI Map using DEM Digital Elevation Model in QGIS. First, load the DEM file from which you want to make a SPI map. For this, go to Layer, Add Layer, Add Raster Layer, and find out the DEM file. After you get the DM file, select the DM and edit. So after you get the DM file in QGIS window, go to raster and navigate to analysis. After that, select slope. Now here this window will appear. Input layer over here should be DEM and then leaving everything on default, hit run. Okay. Now let's open a raster calculator and correct the slope map in such way that we don't have zeros on the slope map. For this go to raster and select raster calculator. Now select the slope and find less than zero or equal to zero and multiply with one. Add this equation with slope greater than zero and multiply with slope. So now let's set the output file location of the corrected slope file. For this click here and browse to the output file location and then give a file name and after this click OK. So here we can see the difference between slope and modified slope. The modified slope does not contain the values equal to zero. Okay. Now we are good to go for converting this modified slope into radians. Again, go to raster calculator and multiply the modified slope with 0 0.01745. After this, set up the output file location. Click here. Find the destination folder. Give a name. After you give the name, click on save and then hit OK. Here we can see slope file in radians. Now for flow accumulation, go to processing toolbox, navigate to saga, simulations and then select flow accumulation. Here in DEM, input your DEM and then leaving everything default, hit run. Okay. So friend, it may take a while depending on the size and the resolution of the DEM. So after you get the contribution area, we are ready for the raster calculation for SPI, Stream Power Index. Again open the raster calculator. The equation of the SPI goes like this. Flow accumulation into pixel size into tangent of slope radians. Okay. Here we already converted the slope degrees to radians, so we don't need to multiply it with 0 0.17453. Okay. Don't get confused uh, seeing other formulas. And for pixel size, you can easily know by right clicking on the properties and on information, you can go to pixel size and see the pixel size of DEM. So after you input the correct formula for SPI, save a file to the output location. Browse to destination folder, give a name spi.tif okay for me and hit ok so now here we can see the recently created spi file for symbology right click on the spi file go to symbology and on render type option go to single band pseudo color you can play with the colors number of classes etc for now, I will hit classify and OK. So 
so here you can see the SPI with different classes you can custom customize is for your need okay so that's all hope you enjoyed the video for any sort of problem you can connect comment on the comment box like and share the video subscribe the channel for best QGIS tutorial and lectures in special analysis have a good time happy learning